Ayekwe, a bubbling suburb of Lagos, was a place of hope and dreams. But as the sun set and shadows grew long, fear took hold. For years, the community had been plagued by mysterious kidnappings. Despite the effort of the local government and community, the kidnappers remained elusive, casting a dark shadow over the city. The townspeople whispered of supernatural involvement. Some said the kidnappers were spirits, while others believed they had dark magic on their side. Every night, parents held their children close, praying for safety. The streets grew quieter with each disappearance, and despair seeped into the hearts of the people. One day, a young man named Olakunle arrived in Ayekwe. He hailed from a small village in Oshun State, known for its rich cultural heritage and deep spiritual roots. Olakunle was no ordinary young man. He possessed metaphysical powers, a gift passed down through generations in his family. He had heard of the plight of Ayekwe and felt a strong urge to help. Olakunle settled into the community, making friends and quietly observing the town's rhythm. He sensed the fear and unease that permeated the air. One evening, as he sat under a tree in the town square, an elderly woman approached him. Her eyes, clouded with age, held a depth of knowledge. I know why you are here, she whispered. The spirits have spoken of your arrival. You must tread carefully, for the evil that lurks here is powerful. Olakunle nodded, his resolve unwavering. That night, he began his work. He performed ancient rituals, calling upon the spirits for guardians. He fasted and prayed, seeking the strength and wisdom to face the kidnappers. Days turned into weeks, and Olakunle's presence brought a glimmer of hope to the people of Ayekwe. One fateful night, as the moon hung high in the sky, Olakunle felt a shift in the air. The spirits had given him a vision, a location deep within the forest on the outskirts of the town. With a heart full of determination, he sat out alone, armed only with his spiritual powers and a small talisman given to him by the village elder. The forest was dense and foreboding, the trees whispering secrets as he passed. He felt the presence of dark forces but pushed forward, his mind focused on the vision. Suddenly, he stumbled upon the hidden clearing. In the dim light, he saw a group of men, their faces masked, gathered around the fire, the kidnappers. Olakunle quietly observed them. Noting their leader, a tall man with a scar running down his cheek. He knew he had to act swiftly. With a deep breath, Olakunle began to chant, his voice low and melodic. The kidnappers froze, their eyes widening in fear as they felt an unseen force binding them. The leader tried to resist, but Olakunle's power was too strong. One by one, the kidnappers fell to their knees, unable to move. Olakunle stepped into the clearing, his presence commanding an etheria. The leader snarled, attempting to break free. But Olakunle raised his hand, and the man was silenced. Your reign of terror ends tonight, Olakunle declared. You will face justice for the pain you've caused. As dawn broke, the townspeople of Ayekwe awoke to find the kidnappers bound and unconscious in the town square. The news spread like wildfire, and the community rejoiced. The authorities quickly took the men into custody, their dark deeds finally coming to light. Olakunle became a hero. His name spoken with reverence. The elderly woman who had first approached him smiled knowingly, her faith in the young man vindicated. Olakunle, however, remained humble, attributing his success to the spirits and the strength of the people of Ayekwe. The town slowly returned to normal, the fear dissipating like mist in the morning sun. Family laughed, children played, and the streets were once again filled with life. Ayekwe had been saved by the courage and metaphysical power of a young villager from Oshun State. As Olakunle prepared to return to his village, the townspeople gathered to bid him farewell. He left with a promise to return if ever they needed him again. If you enjoyed this story, please like, share and comment and also subscribe for more thrilling tales like this. Your support means the world to us. Thank you very much and take care.